facing into the sun's about to get me. There's one. There's one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I know what's biting down there now. Just a little bit foggy this morning. Hi, my name is Ben. Welcome to Hoosier Back Outdoors. I really appreciate you stopping by. Thanks so much. It really, really means a lot to us. We are out at the ponds, and I say we, it's just me. Just me today. I'm out to the pond, and we are gonna try topwater. We're gonna try finesse. We're gonna try a bunch of different things, and we're gonna try to get some largemouth bass for you. If that don't work, well, we'll try for uh, panfish, crappie, there's all kinds of stuff in here. If you would like to help support the channel, then go check out the link in the description below. Get you one of these uh, Hoosier Back Outdoors hats. We've got hats, we've got beanies, we've got sweatshirts, we've got hoodies, we've got t-shirts, we've got long sleeve t-shirts. We've got a whole bunch of stuff over there and our prices will not be beat. And remember, you will be supporting the channel and supporting local small business here in my community. Let's throw the chest camera on and let's get to fishing. We are going to start off with a Berkeley Chapo 90. This is the famous lure that gave me a good hook to the hand last year. We'll try to be more careful. I have my pliers with me. Let's try it down through here. Well, if catching fish on the first cast is bad luck, then we're in business. Whoa, I just about bird nested. <laughs> Watch me get a fish right here. It is foggy this morning. It is humid this morning. It is really kind of Sticky, I guess is the word for it. There is no wind at all. This should be good for top water. There we go. I jerked him from out of the water. Get over here. Little guy. He smacked at it though. Uh, pliers. Get the pliers. There we go. Little guy to start today. <laughs> We're not skunked. There you go, get out of here. Let's make sure nothing's tangled here. Not too bad. Well, I set the hook and jerked him out of the water. Let's try across that corner again. I'm going to change to a little slower presentation on top water. This is the Guggen Squad blooper in Midnight Black, I think is what they call this. A little bit slower presentation. Instead of that uh, Chapo 90 just buzzing by, we'll try this here. Oh, 
I broke off. I broke off. I must have been on a stick or something. How did that break off? Oh, no. You know what's good about that? Is that I have an extra one of those just like that. You know what's bad about that? It's at the house. And now that fish has that stuck in his mouth. So frustrating. I've got a couple more top uh, topwater poppers. I'm gonna put another one of them on. I think I have a Rebel and I also have an Ozark Trail, which we'll try, try one of those. Goodness. That stinks. Okay, we have switched it up for sure. I got the Guggen Squad Mini Banger on here. I think it's called a banger, I don't know. They got so many names. It's the mini version of the medium depth crankbait. I'll throw it down through here. Give it a whirl. The thing about these is you can reel them pretty slow and they still have a lot of action. One thing about standing by the water like this, when it's hot and the sun's shining, is not only do you have the sun beating down on you, but you also have the reflection of the sun off of the water beating down on you. So it's like there's two suns on you that's what makes it even hotter. I've played this game a many a time. Fishing with a lose combo here. Got the lose XSJ10 gear ratios 6 2 to 1. And I got a laser HS speed stick one piece on this combo. And I have it paired with some 20, uh, 15 pound Power Pro braid. I've never had an issue with Power Pro braid. Boy, there was a hit. I swapped at it though. Maybe I need to throw through there again. Facing into the sun's about to get me. There's one. There's one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I know what's biting down there now. I know what's hitting down there now. Crappie of all things. Now, now, now. Pretty good hit for a crappie. True multi-species day right here nice if you guys are gonna be biting then I might have to bring a basket down here next time let's see if they're still in there oh my lures messed up a little top water all the way back yeah it might be time to come down here and do a catch and cook now whether I film it or not is another thing. I have been known to say I was going to do catch and cooks and just did a catch. 
and then I cooked it and ate it and didn't tell nobody. <laughs> See those crawberry in there again. There's one. Is that a crappie? No, it's a bass. It's a bass. There we go. Little feller, but we'll take it. Hey, hey, hey. I believe we're starting to bite. This looks like a plier job. It really does. Well, I hooked him like two or three times. Got that hook out. Got that hook out. Yay! Another little guy. Heck, this looks like uh, bait for other bass. <laughs> there we go. Man, much better. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Many bangers on a roll. Try down through there again. You know, there's got to be more. Another one. I get him. Missed him, didn't I? Missed him. Well, let's try it again. Wow, it is really hot. Telling you what, it got hot quick today. But I want to say thank you for coming along. Hey, it's not always sunshine and roses and rainbows and all that good stuff. Sometimes it's tough. Today, it was tough. But hey, I got out here, enjoyed myself. We had a great time. We, I had a great time at the ponds and caught some fish. Used some uh, different tactics than I usually use this time of year simply because the other ways weren't working as well as they should have. So sometimes you gotta change it up. Sometimes you gotta do something a little different. Once again, if you would like to help out the channel, go down, check out our, in, our uh, link in the description for our merchandise. Go down there and check that out. You will not be disappointed in the prices, I promise you. We have some of the best prices on the internet for all of our stuff. Thank you so much once again. We'll see you next time. But until next time, get out there and enjoy the outdoors. We'll see y'all later.